how the Holy Spirit taught me, so to speak. I told this parable one time I was driving through Pennsylvania and I stayed with a friend. And I'm sitting there meditating and the Holy Spirit's like, okay, today we're going to have a very interesting lesson in perception. I like those. Oh, I'm excited about another lesson in perception. Go to the video store and rent two movies. You're going to watch two movies today back to back. Ooh, that sounds exciting. I like them. Holy Spirit gives me movies to watch. It's really a lot of fun. So I, I go out, I get the two movies, and I'm, I'm told the order. Watch this one first, then watch this one the second, and you're going to get the lesson. All you have to do is watch these two movies, and you'll get the lesson. So I put in the first DVD, and it's uh, Michael Douglas, and it's called The Game. Mm -hmm. Michael Douglas, Sean Penn, mm -hmm. where this is kind of an entertainment um, thing that comes where the one brother, Sean Penn, gives his other brother, Michael Douglas, this recreational game where he's got to go through all this training and testing and learn all these things, and the game just comes at him full force. And he's got a pretty big ego, self-concept. He's a big, powerful, you know, money, wheeler, dealer, dealing with millions of dollars and everything. The game comes at him, and he, he is just fighting back against the game. He, at one point, he's even buried. He finds himself buried in a coffin in Mexico. And he has to like break out of the coffin. And he, he reacts so strong because it seems like the world is outside of him. And he's got he's to fight with all his energy and defend himself, defend the body, and this and this. So I watched the first movie and I go, ooh, that was a real intense movie. Okay, what's the second one? Bill Murray. The Man Who Knew Too Little. <laughs> I put the movie in, and, I, and, and again, it's two brothers. You know, what's, up, what's going on here? Two brothers, two brothers, both give the, their brothers a gift, but instead, this time, instead of the recreational game, it's, it's the theater, it's improv theater, the theater that comes to you. I'm like, huh. Mm -hmm. So it's both of them is coming at you, and Bill Murray, I watched the second movie, I watched him laugh his way through this whole movie. Meanwhile, as the second movie's playing, they're trying to, to murder him, strangle him, choke him, poison him, kill him in all kinds of different ways. It's the same as the first movie, and Bill Murray is absolutely laughing his way through the whole movie. First scene, he, he thinks he's going to improv, and he's told from his, his brother, it's going to come to you. So it's all, it's all a play. It's just a play. It's a game. He's told ahead of time it's a game. Michael Douglas is not. He's told ahead of time it's a game. These two guys come up, they pull out a, a knife. They go, give us your wallet. And he, like, he gives over his wallet. And, and then at some point, they're ready to take off with his wallet and everything. And he goes, Oh, guys, come on, give it, give back the wallet now, <laughs> come on. And he says, he starts being very playful with them. Even though they still have a knife and they've taken his wallet, he suddenly gets very playful with them because he's like thinking yeah. it's improv. It's just, it's just mm -hmm. a fun game. And they're so terrified that he's not in fear <laughs> that they flee immediately. And then he meets a prostitute. And then he meets people that are trying to sh kill him, shoot him, poison him. And he laughs his way through the whole movie, never once taking any circumstance serious, because he's already got the miracle in his mind that it's all just play acting. It's just a game. It's not real. It's just fun. And I thought, wow. So I watched those two movies back to back, and I was like, okay. Because what the Holy Spirit was saying is, this is what I want for you. I want you to see that these images are not real, they're not who you really are, and you need not defend anything. You could be that playful as Bill Murray was. You know, at one point they like tie him to the chair, and they're like, these like Russian agents and everything, they're trying to find out, they think he's like an American super agent, because he's so defenseless. He's more, <laughs> he's more defenseless than James Bond. You know, they like, so they tie him up, and then they, they've got him tied up, and then they, they give him like truth serum. Because they think, we're going to get it. So they, get, they put truth serum into him, and they're like, asking him all the questions. They said, who do you work for? Who do you work for? Because they think he doesn't know if it's Americans, or he works for all these countries, because he's like a super agent. He said, 
blockbuster video, <laughs> Des Moines, Iowa. You know, he, he under truth so, and that's all he can say because he's he's just not invested. He's not into espionage and all these things. He's just so simple, yeah. mm -hmm. and that's what the present moment is. It's so simple. It's so completely simple that it, it doesn't react or respond to images because it knows that it's not any of them. And wouldn't you love to live a life like that where you could be playful? Mm -hmm. If somebody came up to you, you know, at the 7-Eleven with a gun in your face and you could actually be playful mm -hmm. in that state, you know, think, think how strong your defenselessness would be. And that's what I've used too when I've gone to like third world countries, or I've gone to places where there are guns everywhere. When I went to Colombia, I've been there a few times and there's guns everywhere. There's guns at the airport. Up here they give you a body search, down there they give you the body search with guns. You know, and then I stay out in the rural areas and there's gun, gunmen guarding the place where I'm staying and I'm kind of waiting, smiling at them. It's fun to be able to smile at gunmen. It's, and play with them. Because if you know that you're not a real character, that this is all just virtual reality, it's not reality at all, then you can afford to be defenseless, playful, happy, joyful.